Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's try to integrate the cleaned document from Lama parser into the LangChain. The scenario here is let's say you already have a LangChain application and you want to take advantage of the Lama parse. Uh, so it's easier for you to parse the document, right? If you haven't watched my previous video, I recommend you to watch this Lama parse Lama index to know in depth information about the Lama parse. And also there is this rag with Lama parse quadrant and grog step by step things using the Lama index itself. So what we will be doing is creating a similar chain lead application that I used to show you before, right? But then integrating the Lama parse into it. Let's get started. Okay, this is the GitHub repository as always. You can just clone this uh, repository. I have all, also provided the data that we are going to use this over 10 and the instructions are here. First, you clone this, create the virtual environment and activate it, install the necessary packages and provide all the environment variables that you need in gist first and then we can run the application. That's it. I have already cloned this. So here, as you can see, I have pushed this just now. I will clear this. I will do ls and you can see all the files. I will activate the virtual environment here. I have already installed the necessary packages. So I can now open this in VS Code. I will bring this in here, VS Code things. So yeah, as I said you before also, if you go to this readme, Okay, this is not updated because I just updated that in the GitHub. So what I will do is I will do git pull. So everything will be updated here and then I will run this again. So now if I go here, you can see all the latest things, right? So yeah, just install things and beep install our requirements.txt and if you want to know what is in the txt requirements of txt there are all the packages that you need to install and in the example.env as you can see here there is llama cloud quadrant and grok as before but then you can also import this langchain related stops in order to have the traces in the in the langsmith websites now, i have created videos about uh, langsmith please follow that in order to use this langsmith part so first thing first, what we can do is let me go to this ingest.py. What I am doing here, right? So here all the necessary import things are here. We don't need to go through that. Uh, and again, I recommend you to watch my previous video to know in-depth information about Lama parse. So it's easier to follow. And we need to get all the, let's say the APIs from Lama parse quadrant. And this is how you can get. For that, I just show you here. So Lama cloud is here. You need to create the account and create the API key from here and that's it. For the quadrant also you need to create the account and create a cluster and from here you can get this cluster URL and from here you can get the API keys when you create that. Once that is done, we are good with this part and what I'm doing here now, as I have explained this in my previous video but I included one of the tips that I have given you in the previous video, right? we can pass the parsing instructions uh, inside the llama parse so the answers will be better that's what i have i have been doing here as you can see this is just the parser and i'm parsing only one file here but what you can do is let's say you have many pdf files you can create a list like this and you can pass it into this into this load data so you can have as many pdfs as you want but I just want to show you with this one PDF. And then this is just um, loading things because I don't want to do it again and again. Once this is done, in the data folder, there will be a pickle file being created, right? So that is the normal llama index part. How to incorporate now that file into this lang chain? It was not, let's say, straightforward because there might be many ways how you can implement this. But what I find the easiest way to do there is first I created this uh, parse, right? And then this is just the printing things, how many are there. And what I did, I tried to load this llama parse document into this text splitter, but there was some issue there. What I did here is I just 
went through the Llama parse documents, right? And then created a output.md file and then just dumped there. Once this is done, what will happen is inside the data folder, there will be a output.md file being created. And what I did is from the, uh, from the Langchain, I take this directory loader and I loaded all the .md files. And then I did this loader.load and this is, these are the normal things. Now you can play around with this chunk size and other things. So recursive loader. And then I load this document inside this text splitter and did the splitting part, right? This is one trick that I, that I went through. As I said before, also there might be some good ways to, to achieve this. But yeah, this was what I was able to do. Just play around with this. Now let me know in the comment section if you find better ways to to do this. The next thing is for the embeddings. Of course, uh, I'm using the fast uh, uh, embed embeddings. And then we need to, uh, of course, create the quadrant uh, vector store, right? So here is the quadrant, quadrant from documents. And I'm passing these documents, which I have been creating here. And the embeddings comes from here. And the quadrant URL, which we get from the quadrants uh, cloud. So it's here, right? Both of these two things. And then we need to also pass the API key and we need to give the collection name a rag. So that's it. And once we save this, what we can do is now we can go to our terminal. And from here, we can run Python 3. We can say ingest.py. What this will do now is all the things which I said you, right? As you can see here. Okay, it shows the error. Okay, print this is a list. So what we can do is comment this print from here, right? And then save this because that was what I was testing before. But here it is showing the issue. Yeah. Now we can run this Python. As you can see here, this is all the downloading things are done there. Uh, we don't need to uh, worry about that because it is downloading the fast embeddings. Uh, it needs to go to the uh, Lama parts, fetch all the things, create the embeddings and so on, right? It is taking some time here. Okay, now it is successfully created. Once this is done, as I said to you before, there should be two files being created here. One is the pickle file that we want to use it again and again because we don't want to send that into the Llama parse. And then next one is the output.md. If I go here, you can see all the information is here. There was 106 pages. If you just go here, this is 106 pages file, right? All that is now converted into the MD file. And then we created the, let's say, embeddings and stored that into the quadrant. So now if I go to the quadrant here, this is the cluster. And here you can see Llama index rag. If I go inside this, you can see the open dashboard. I will click this. For you, maybe the first time you need to provide the API key. But I have already done that. And inside the rag, you can see all the things here now, right? So from where did we get this? Because our we give the name of the collection rag. If you go back to the code, you can see here, we give the collection name rag. So this is how it is being created. So now our ingestion part is done, right? Now what we can do is go to our app.py. So here also, I have tested with Olama also because sometimes things doesn't work as expected. So these are the normal importing things, normal things. Again, we need to import the environment variables here, right? And this is the normal now, the lang chain things that I have explained you so many times. So I'm not going to go through all the steps again and again, but there is normal things uh, say to custom prompt and I'm taking the model from um, chat grog, by the way. And then also we, we need to get the Grox API. And if this is new to you, I have al already created the videos. Please refer to that. But from this Grox cloud, you can go here and get the API keys. Right, please watch the videos that I have created if you are new to this uh, part. And then what I was doing here is normal uh, client because we need to, we are storing our embeddings into uh, quadrants cl cloud, right? So we need to have the client. So I'm creating the client and passing the API keys and the URL. And yeah, these are the normal things as you can see, retrieve QA chain. So there is the LLMs and then we just retrieve the informations from there. We pass the prompt and so on. So there is the QA bot 
So we have the fast embeddings again, and then there is this vector store, quadrant client is client embeddings, and we are we are giving the collection name rag, and we are giving the chart model, which we created here from the chart grog, right? We are taking the mixed troll model from there, and other normal things are being passed here. And then now there is the chain lead part, where we just, uh, this is what we show on start, and this is on message. I have been explaining this so many times, but I'm not going to take too much of time here. Let me know if you face any issues. I will just save this now, right? Okay, did I do something? No. Now I will go to the terminal here and I can run the chain lead application. So I will do chain lead run app.py. Now it is loading all the things and now this is our application. Hi, welcome to chat with documents using Llama Powers. Lang chain quadrant and models from the grog. So now just to check if it works or not, I will do hi. Okay. Hello, this, this, this. Now, this is just the random information being shown here, right? But what we can do is now ask the questions from here. For asking the questions, what I am going to do is I have taken this document, this demo advanced IPYNB notebook from Jerry, who has explained from the Llama index part. I will ask the same questions. So if we get the answers or not from this document, right? What I will do is I will just copy this query. We need to get the answer. For example, this, this is the answer income taxes and net of refunds 22, right? Let's see if it gets the answer or not. I will just go here and in the chat, in, in the input part, I will just pass. Okay. This one here. Okay. How, how is the cash? This, 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 I will submit this. Okay, the cash paid for income taxes, net this, this, this. Okay, refunds was 22 million. Was it correct? If we go back here, as you can see, it is 22. So I think it is 22 million, right? So it gets the answer, answer from here. So it went to the right, right path. And now if we go again and ask another question, okay, let me go and ask this one. That was correct, right? So that is the reason I'm using Llama Pass because you get the idea. We, uh, we are getting clean documents from there. I will ask another question. Okay, what is the change of this, this, this from here? Okay, what is happening here? Okay, I will ask this. It should get the answer. Okay, the change in plan is, okay, minus 682. The rate is not and so on. So what is the answer by the way here? Okay, this is this 682, yeah, 682 million, uh, and then it was 47 million from this one. So yeah, the six, as you can see here also, uh, there is the 635 million, and then Lama Pars. This was giving the, let's say, right answers, but yeah, this is there is 47 and 682. So it is going uh, there, right? Uh, 682, and of course there is minus for for some reason, and I think three months in date free cash flow. Yeah, it is, by the way, it is getting the answers and going to the part. So that is really, really good. Now, another thing is also here, a net loss attribute to Uber is 108 or it's 5930 in 2022 and 21, it is 108. Let's ask this question now if it gets or not. I'm just showing you this because it's easier for me to just go through the questions and answers from that notebook, right? So I will just go here and do enter. Okay, it is getting a 5930. It was in March 31, 2022 and 108 for the same period last year, right? If you want to also see the sources, you can go here. And as you can see, this is the sources that it is getting from there. And the answer is provided from here. So these are the sources, source one and source zero. For the previous also, you can just go here and see what is the sources. The answers are correct from that 106 pages. Because we extracted the information from Lama Pars and it is easier now to go through the document to get the answers uh, for us, right? So let's ask one more question. I think there is one more question about cash flows. Let's see if it gets the answer correct or not. So it is 250 and 135, right? So I will take this question from here. Control C. By the way, this is, as I said before, also 106 pages PDF files with many information there, right? What were the cash flows? Yeah, it is 135 in 2022 and it's 250 million in 2021. So yeah, 
that's what I, I want to show you because it's getting exact answer and if you want to go to the source also you can see from where it is getting so again this proves that garbage in garbage out is what it's all about right if you provide good answers it will get good answers out of it and the reason that it is working so nice here is also because I incorporate these uh, if you go to the index.py file about these parsing instructions so this also helps a lot so just try with this and if you have let's say uh, some other documents here just try to give this parsing instruction as accurate as possible so that it gets the or, or let's say it gets the answer or extracted the answer properly just give a try uh, I, I just find it helpful I hope now you get the idea how to how to let's say incorporate two different frameworks right what I did here is I just used the llama parse from llama index and then did some things here and there to save that information into the lang chain and then use quadrant grog and chain lead to create a rag and I so far or let's say by far this is the best rag I have created uh, and it's getting the right answers from that big documents also uh, one last thing is I showed you there is this lang smith also right so I use that in my video in my environment variables and you can see here this is the llama parse rag and these are the questions i asked right so what were the cash flows from this and this is the answer it is getting if you want to go inside this so yeah it is using the chat grog so there is human uh, and this is all the information from where it is getting and this is the output so this is the good part again of of lang chain or lang smith the product from lang chain so yeah that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Now I hope you know how to incorporate Llama Index, Llama Parse, and Langchain together and create a great chain lead application like this, which you are seeing in the screen. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.